Buenos dias. In the prior video, we looked at extracting an individual value from an array. Here, we will discuss pulling out larger sections, namely vectors and matrices. In this slide, we will examine examples of identifying subvectors from a larger vector. Whenever we see a colon between two numbers in an index, interpret it as the word through. This row vector x will be our starting point. When we see x parentheses 2 colon 3, read that as go into vector x and extract from index 2 through 3. This provides the vector 5, 8. The next example is very similar, but now we extend to the fourth index. Naturally, the resulting subvector contains one more number. Don't forget about the end statement. This will be useful for many situations. We are using it here to extract values from the first index to the second to last index. When we are dealing with matrices, the same ideas apply, it just becomes a little trickier to read. A technique I'm going to illustrate is crossing out all the rows and columns that aren't requested, thereby leaving us with the selected subarray. One new idea is that when we see a colon on its own in an index, interpret it as the word all. Here's our starting matrix Z, which happens to be a 4x4 magic square. In this first example, we are extracting only the last row, so I will cross out all the other rows. Also, we only want columns 2 through 3, so let's cross out the others. What we are left with is just the 14 and 15 together in a small row vector. In the next example, we extract only rows 1 through 2, so ignore the other rows, as well as column 4 so ignore all the other columns. This leaves us with this small column vector. In the next example, we see the colon by itself. So this should be read as taking the values in row two from all columns. As a result, we obtain this four element vector. This final example is perhaps the most useful time to use the crossout technique so as to not tangle up our brains. First, we only want rows 2 and 3, so eliminate the other rows. Next, we want only columns 1 and 2, so eliminate the other columns. And we are left with a 2x2 two two matrix with these values contained.